generators are available in the library. So we'll go to the library. Over here in the category section is generators, and there are 32 generators inside Motion. They're divided into two categories, text generators, of which there are four, and video generators, of which there are 28. Of the text generators, every one of these was in Motion before, and to show you how often I didn't go here, I didn't know any of these existed until I was researching this particular webinar, and now I'm going to have to play with them and figure out what they do. What file does is it displays text from a file, so you could have it print names or numbers or anything that's stored inside a text file. Numbers generates a sequence of numbers going up or going down. Time and date displays the time and date applied to a, a particular piece of text. But this is the one that I like, which is a time code generator. I can use this for countdowns to be able to say there's this much time left or this much time going forward, which is really kind of cool. None of those are new, but that doesn't mean that I knew they were there. Let's grab this horizontal line and pull it up, okay? And now I've selected generators, and there are 28 to choose from. These are sort of mostly existing, except let's look at <laughs> Sunburst. Starts with an S. It's right here. Click on it once. It shows up inside the, the little preview window up there. We'll click Apply, and it's there it is. It's centered in the frame. And we'll hit the space bar to get this playing and absolutely nothing happens because there's no animation associated with this sunburst well let's try to uh let's try to create something here first thing i think i'll do is is i'll get it to spin so i'm going to go down to the behaviors panel that's down here you could if you want go up to the library go to behaviors over there but that's just boring Let's click on the gear menu down here and select from the behaviors basic motion. This allows us to have an, a selected object fade in or fade out, increase in size, move from point A to point B, or in my case, spin. Now we'll display the HUD and hit the space bar to get stuff playing because by default, no spin is associated when you add that behavior. We need to tell it which way we want it to spin. I want it to spin this way. And so what we've just told it is the spin effect, that's this purple bar, lasts for the entire duration of the clip such that by the time the clip is done at the end of its duration, it's going to have spun about 45 degrees or 90 degrees or 135 or 180, whatever number you want. The bigger the arrow, the faster it spins. I just want a gentle spin right about like that. Well, let's make it a little bit faster. Okay, good. Well, I'll hide the HUD. So already we've got this really cool spinning starburst and I can tell sunburst and I can tell already that you are just thrilled to death to see it. So let's see if we can do some more with it. We'll click the inspector. The inspector is where we make changes and we'll go to the generator. There's actually a lot of stuff we can do with this. For instance, I can change the color of the sun by clicking the downward pointing arrow here and let's make it a nice cheerful red, stoplight red. Hmm, I should increase the number of arms, maybe, or decrease them. I can increase the radius, make it bigger or smaller. What I want to do is grab the white circle and drag it up to here, go up to view, turn on safe zones, and park it so it's near, right around, action safe, right about there. Then I'm going to add some text. I'll click the T command and type save dollar two five zero and it isn't a saving unless you add an exclamation point press the escape key to get out of text mode select the text hold a corner down and drag it to make it bigger hold shift down to constrain the shape of the characters hold option down to zoom from the middle hold shift down option so they anyway just hold them and you'll see what happens we'll drag our savings up too small shift and okay much better Okay, let's display the HUD, F7, because now we've got stuff we can play with. And let's pick text that looks a little bit more interesting. Uh, it's a college football poster we're putting together. So we're going to select Aachen Team. And we'll change the line spacing, make that a little bit better. And we'll center it and drag the white square over. And again, shift and option to make it big enough. And look at that. Have we not achieved artwork? This is incredible. I mean, this 
tears, tears, tears are coming out of my eyes because this is just so mind-numbingly great. Except Starburst is not quite making it for me here. So let's uh, go back to the Starburst, show the layer panel, F5, select the star. Uh, it's called the Sunburst, I'll remember that. Go to the generator. Uh, we, could, uh, we could add some waves. We could increase the number of waves. <laughs> uh, we could um, we can um, change the inner radius. I'm going to pull this down. Let's get rid of the waves because uh, it's too hard to see. Notice how let's move as I decrease the inner radius. Now I get more pointy thingies and less of the. Okay, good. Now let's just add a few more arms and let's uh, get this to spin a bit faster. Cue the HUD F7 and make it march. Good. So what we've just done is we've taken the starburst and we've given ourselves a really nice little motion graphic to reinforce our text that says, if you pay attention to this ad right now, you can save $250. How can someone not look at that? It's moving. It's off center. It's bright sucks the eyes out of your head, pulls the credit card out of their wallet. You can't ask more of a graphic than that. That's the sunburst generator. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at new features inside Motion 5.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 158. By the way, Membership is a great way when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.